Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Purple View, and today we are gonna do something exciting. We are gonna learn how to make a fortune teller. So, this is a fortune teller that I have previously made before, and I am sharing how with you guys right now. Okay, so here I have an A4 size of paper. Now, for to make a fortune teller, first of all, we need to make the paper more square-like. So one way we can do that, is by folding it like that. And I'm going for a small square. If you want a slightly bigger one, you can go all the way like that. I'm gonna stop somewhere over here, like that. And I'm gonna make a triangle. It's gotta be a right triangle if you wanna make a square. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace this outside part. We're gonna cut it out. So I'm gonna trace it so it's easier to cut out. I can just trace. There we go. Now I can just cut along that line. So I'm gonna take my scissor and I'm just gonna cut along that line. There. As you can see, it's not totally perfect, but it'll make do for now. So now what we wanna do is we wanna get some creases. So I'm gonna fold this vertically once. That. Then I'm gonna fold it horizontally once. Then I'm gonna fold it diagonally. Since this side is already folded diagonally, I'm gonna fold it diagonally to the other side. Oops, like that. Okay, so now you see we've got all these lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, now this is kind of like rhombus shape. So we're gonna fold it in half. Just that little bit, like that. Then we're gonna do the same with the rest. So now I'm done folding one side. After this, I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now after we're done with these, all we have to do is open it up to make the fortune teller. We're gonna do that later, but for now, let's write in the numbers and the predictions. So the numbers are gonna be on two sides, like previously shown. So there are gonna be numbers on this side, which is gonna be the outer portion. And then the inner portion, there are gonna be numbers on this side. And then inside, I'm gonna write the predictions, or you can write whatever you want inside. So first, let's go with the numbers on the outer layer. You can choose any numbers you want, but I'm gonna go with five. It's normally my standard number on a fortune teller. Then three, then seven, then mm, maybe one over here. Now, you can decorate it if you want to. All right, I'm done decorating the outside. Now let's flip it over and work on the inside. And you see this crease that tells us that it's half? You've got to put numbers on either side. So like, say I've got to put nine here and I've got to put eight here. You've got to keep going like that. And then inside, based on what number you get, this is where you're gonna put the prediction if you get eight, and this is where you're gonna put the prediction if you get nine, okay? So I actually might go with that example. I might put a nine here and an eight here. I'll put a seven here, I'll put a five here. And I'm not gonna do much decoration on this one. I'm just gonna leave it simple, but you can decorate as much as you want. Now, finally, for the inside, I'm gonna write predictions, but again, you guys can write whatever you want to. So for this one, I'm gonna write, you will have a great day. That's what I hope for everyone. I hope for you all to have a great day. Okay, so I have finished. I even did some designing on here. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's open it up. So remember, this is our front side, so this is our inside portion. So let's do the inside portion. So when you come to the inside portion, you've got to fold it in half, horizontal, like that. Then on these, you've got to take your index finger, put it between, put it inside, and then the other finger in the other one, and do the same for the others. Now you bring it all together. The way I'm holding it is with my index finger, and my thumb, like that, on both hands. Now I can play a game or a fidget that you can play with your friends, your family, anytime. You can even try it on yourself. I hope you had fun, and I hope you learned how to make a fortune teller. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Bye!